MacArthur River here, this is the world's richest uranium mine, uh, the number one uranium mine in the world. We produce uh, uranium ore here that uh, eventually gets turn turned into uh, nuclear energy. As you can see from behind me here, we have a small footprint for uh, the amount of energy that's actually produced from the product that we do mine here. The mine just recently went through a milestone of having achieved uh, over 250 million pounds of U308 produced. Uh, so there isn't anybody in the world that is producing any capacity relative to what we're achieving. The uranium ore is located between 400 and 600 meters below the surface in sandstone sediment. To access the ore, Cameco must freeze the water in the sandstone to prevent it from flooding the underground mine. One of the big challenges that we have is really to be able to isolate a portion of the ore body from uh, water-bearing sandstone and also uh, from a safety perspective ensure that we're able to overcome the hydrostatic water pressure within the ground when we do hit it. Cameco relies on a fleet of Sandvik underground equipment to help reach production targets including Sandvik DU331TW and Sandvik 6200W boom mounted ITH rigs. Right now we're on the 520 meter level and uh, behind me here is one of our drills. It's the uh, latest drill in the fleet that we have. We have three of these, this one being the newest. It has our heavy hoist mast on it, which is a 60,000 pound feed mast on it. Right now with our current practices that we're doing with these drills and what we've seen is we're now installing these uh, 120 meter holes here on this drill behind us. And we're doing those in uh, anywhere between eight and 10 days, whereas before it could take us up to uh, you know, 14 to 20 days to do a hole. So we've seen a, a big improvement there. This drill is a lot more mobile. Our teardown and setup is a lot faster with this drill. Also, this drill has a extendable boom and the whole mass system is very, very versatile on this drill. We have a 360 degree drilling radius, whereas the other drills only gave us about a 45 degree angle that we could utilize. The big issue for us when we started was the confidence to be able to drill a 120 meter uh, vertical hole. The latest innovation uh, through Sandvik has been the 60,000 uh, pound uh, mast. That will allow us to ensure that we can drill vertical holes up to 130 meters in length in the time frame that we want to. The specially designed freeze hole drilling application is unique to MacArthur River. It's the result of a rewarding partnership between Cameco and Sandvik. We'd really like to continue on with them in the future in that, and, and it's through uh, innovation like this that we can actually achieve our goals and, and continue to improve our methods to be more efficient. So.